Hi everybody, so today I'm going to share another story time with you and this one involves the time where I found a maggot in my food. Yes, you know those little grubs that turn into flies, that wrong garbage and all of that? Yeah, a maggot in my food. So this took place when I was in fourth form at secondary school and it was the last day of school. So normally I would catch the van or the Zedar as we call it in Barbados and I went from my school and I went down to my mother's workplace which was in town. I went to this restaurant or eating establishment, I'm not gonna call the name for obvious reasons, and I ordered a chicken breast sandwich. Okay fine. So then I went back to my mother's workplace and I'm eating, eating my sandwich, you know, everything is good, it's cool, it's okay. And I remember eating it and then I got to like the last bite and I hate tomatoes. Well, don't let me say hate. I like ketchup and you know, whatever, but the actual tomato, uh-uh. Nah, is they eating dirty water to me. So I was opening the sandwich and taking out the tomato. I take out the tomato and I take out the pickle. I don't know why I didn't think when I was there to tell a lady no tomatoes or no pickles or no whatever I don't eat. But anyway, I didn't tell her so there was tomato inside the sandwich. So I got to like the last bite. And I opened the sandwich to take out the tomato that was still inside. So I took it out. And for some reason, I looked, I was looking like intently at the sandwich. So I looked at it and I saw this thing. And I was like, this looking foreign. I mean, it don't look like if it's supposed to be part of the sandwich. And when I looked at it closely, I said, uh-uh. This look like a maggot. This look like a maggot. I ain't gotta tell you that the food that was in my mouth, I spit that out. And the food that was in my stomach, I honestly felt like throwing up. I felt like vomiting. It was so disgusting. So I said, you know what? Uh-uh. It may just be me. It may just be me. So I wrapped back up the remains of the sandwich and I went to my mother and I said, all right, mommy, look at this sandwich. And tell me what you think it is. And say, I didn't tell her what I thought it was or what I thought it looked like. I told her, tell me what it looks like to you. So she opened it and she said, hmm, this, this little Kamaga. I said, okay. She got some of her other colleagues and they came and we said, tell me what this looks like to you. We did not, and I repeat, we did not tell them what it looked like to us. We didn't say it looked like a maga or anything. We said, what does this look like to you? So, they looked at it and they said, this looks like a maggot. When everybody had the same view that I had, but I mean, I can't say that I felt good thinking that I was right. I was like, this is disgusting. Now, I have had flies in my food already, which is extremely disgusting, but Let's just say I can understand a fly flying in my food than a maggot crawling into my food. So, what was the plan going for it? In my mind, I was like, this can't done like this. This can't end like this. So, I wrapped back up the sandwich and my mother and I, we went to the establishment. And we told the lady there, I said, well look, I not too long bought this chicken breast sandwich from you. And I opened it, and when I got to the last bite to open it, I realized that there's this thing inside which looks like a maggot. And I actually had the sandwich, and I showed her the sandwich. She was like, um, well, hold on a minute, let me get my manager, supervisor, whoever the person was. So she went, and she got her manager or supervisor, whoever it was, and they came by, and they looked, and they heard what we had to say and everything. And they're like, I'm very sorry, miss. Um, we can give you a refund, or we can give you, like, a gift voucher, a certificate um, to come back. I was like, to do what? To finish me off? Next thing you know, I find a cockroach or... God knows why and say rat dropping something. I was like, oh hell no. And I was like, a, a refund? 
And the thing is, is that if you know maggots and flays or whatever, those things don't come by themselves. Those things come in like a whole set. So for all I know, I could have eaten like 5, 10, 15, how many ever maggots? Well, I guess to them it was just protein, but you know, I ain't no fair factor. There's not survivor. I don't expect to be eating maggots and insects and all that. No, 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 no. So, my mother's like, no, that's not good enough. And then my head is like, I know that ain't good en that's not good enough. Definitely not. So, they didn't want to do anything else, so we left. My mother consulted an attorney and they were like, you know what? Um, to go through the legal process and all that is going to be time consuming, one. It's going to be expensive, two. And... At the end of it, it may not come to anything. Uh, I don't have to tell you, I have not eaten there since I was in four farm and I left. No, I was in four farm in like what? 2004, 2003, 2004, and I haven't eaten there since. But I guess if you adhere to the old adage, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So I guess I'm stronger for it. I guess. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you have. Please don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye bye.